that it picks picks that up. Not exactly the way I would have had it on the bottom, but that's fine. Plus, and then X to the N to the N. Boom. Oh, see, it didn't like. So now it says plus X minus N. So I'm going to say erase that. What are you thinking? Maybe it didn't like that X. Maybe this plus is even wrong. I'll make plus X N. All right, that looks good. And then I'll put this whole thing over underline an N. So this is, this is for now the X was on top, so I actually erased it and then I made a very large X bar on the left hand side. So now it's properly picking up the X bar, which is standing in for the mean or the average, the mean or average often being shown in the symbol of X bar or a mu, which is uh, the Greek letter looks like a U is the Greek letter uh, mu. And it might differ depending on whether we're talking about the entire population or a sample of the population. We'll get into more of that in future presentations. But the average calculation then is going to be X1 plus X2 plus X3 and so on and so forth up to Xn in representing the number of items in the population, the number of Xs, all of that divided by then N in representing the number of items in the population. So I can go ahead and say that that, that looks good. So let's uh, insert it. So we'll just insert down here and there is our formula. Now once made, I can go to the uh, home tab over here and increase the font if I so choose. So we might wanna make a larger formula and uh, sometimes it might wrap it. So if, it, if, if this gets too small, it could kind of mess up the formula. So you have to make sure that your font size uh, lines up with how large the box is so it's being represented properly and I'll type uh, mean mean calculation up top I'm going to select the entire worksheet and go to the home tab font group and make it bold let's actually format the worksheet like I normally do as well so I'm going to right click on the worksheet format and then I'm going to make uh, the entire worksheet is going to be numbers I'm going to go into the numbers group and then I usually go currency, negative numbers bracketed, and red, no dollar sign. I don't need any decimals. So I'm gonna say, okay. And then I'll make this my header. I'll make this black and white, home tab, font group. It's kind of like the title, so maybe black, but we'll do that, black and white on the header. Now notice this obviously uh, is on top of the cells. It's not within the cells. So you're gonna have to kind of be careful and move it around. When I select a column, this isn't selected when I select the column. Generally, it's kind of attached possibly to a particular cell that it's in, but it's not really, it's, it's not attached to these columns, for example. You can also copy this if you wanted to, copy it, and you could paste it uh, as an image, and that could be a useful tool if you wanted to, to paste it somewhere else so you don't kind of mess up the formula. That kind of makes it almost hard-coded in a sense so that it's uh, so you can't go in there and type in it uh, you can see through it here so the other thing that that you could do is you could put some formatting around this so that there's a, a a fill color so I could make a shape fill and make it white so that now it's you don't see the background of it the other way you can do that is actually make the cells behind it uh, white. I can go to the home tab font group and make the cells behind it white. And so now it's, it doesn't, you can't see the grid lines in the back of it, but it's probably better. I'm now that I'm working with this, I'm going to control Z or undo to make, to make the actual box white or some other color. You can make it so that, uh, it stands out as its own, as its own thing, right? So maybe orange isn't too bright. So something like that, maybe. So let's do another one. Uh, I'll do another formula. This is another way that we can express the mean and we'll talk about other formulas in the future. And this is so, so we'll practice this as well in the future, but let's insert another equation. And so here's my equation thing. I'm gonna go into it. Now I have the equation up top. I'm gonna 
make an ink equation again and just type this one in. So this one, so we're gonna represent the mean in a different way. So I'm gonna start with X bar again. This time I'm gonna type it really large. I'm gonna say this is gonna start with an X on the left. So it knows that that's on the left. It's gonna be an X bar. So it picked that up properly. And then I'm gonna say equals, go somewhere in the middle here, equals. So there we have that. And then I want this sum symbol. So the sum symbol is gonna look like this. Duh, and so it picked that up. Then I want an N on top. The N, sometimes it doesn't pick up until I do the bottom bit. So it didn't really see it yet, but I'm gonna say that's okay. I'm gonna say, let's put an I dot equals one. So then it saw that and then it picked up the N. So that looks good. On this side, I wanna say X and then two I, sub I. And so it picked up a J instead of an I. Let's erase that. Let's see if I can erase just that and then say, no, it needs to be an I. So there it goes. So now it picked up an I. So I think that's right. And then this whole thing needs to be over. So I'm going to underline it and then N. N on the bottom. Boom. So there it goes. So it, it formatted. So now instead of putting the N like on top, it put it a little bit off to the side, so that's fine. So we'll keep that. That looks good. So now what this is basically saying is we're gonna. It's another way to express this, right? This is the sum function. We want to sum all of the x's, x sub i, where we're going to be implementing x starting at one, and keep on summing up all the x's until we get to the number of x's to be subbing in there, which is n represented here, and then take that whole thing that we summed up and divide it by the count, which is n. So this is another way that we can express it. That's gonna be once again, the mean or like the average. So let's insert it. So there we have it. So I'll pull this down here and let's make this orange on the fill again. And this, how big was this one? This one was like 24. So let's make this one 24 as well so we'll bring it on up to 24 so there we have it so that's nice now the next thing we might want to do is say well how can i represent some of these items in excel like an x bar for example how might i do that uh one way you could do the x bars you could type in an x and you can go into the insert tab up top and then in the symbols we're going to go into the symbols here now, when you're using these symbols, often it's useful to go scroll all the way up top to this on the left, the font just being the normal text font. And then I wanna combine this X with something else, the, the bar on 